Ranger. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Kimasabi, it's me find last week's newspaper down by spring. Yeah, it must be from that wagon train that camped here last week. Uh, but it have news a friend from Forgins Fat, Kimasabi. Listen. Honored Mr. and Mrs. All shirts washed free for one week start May 1st. So you come clean to Chinese wedding of Lee Po and Miss Ma Lin Soon. Lee Po? Him, our old friend, Kimasabi. Our good friend, Tunnel. So this is Lee's wedding day. Uh, 12 o'clock, right after stage come in with bride from China. We can just make it. We'll take a shortcut over to the stage trail. Uh, we go to friend's wedding? Tunnel, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Let's put out the fire. Get your hands up. All the way. Get outside and keep your hands up where I can see them. This is the end of line for you, China doll. Fellas are making a mistake. She's just a letter bride coming out here to get married. She's got no money. She don't even speak English. We got company, brother. Each coast break down, Kimisami. Oh, hold up. Come on. Come on. Make yourself comfortable, doll. Let's go! She got a dead gal. Sammy, now get back down that road. Make tracks, both of them. We have no choice, Tonto. Them crazy men, they'll kill her for sure. Get back down that road where we can see you. All right, mister. I've taken you at your word. But if anything happens to that girl, I'll track you down if it's the last thing I ever do. Come on, let's get back to the cabin. It's only the beginning, Tunnel. Kimasabi, why do you think them take Lee Poe's girl? That's what we're going to find out. It's what I think it is. It should be torn out by the roots. Come on. What you thought you'd be for, Li Po? Stage, she late today, but Li Po not jumpy. <laughs> oh, no, you're like a little on a rock. <laughs> What's the matter, Lee? Afraid your mail order bride missed the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe our folks forgot to tie a ticket on her, no ticket, no surety, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they not forget. I send ticket. She come long way just for me. Stagecoach are coming. Stand back, folks. 
It should be a prices, Lee. Here comes the bride. <laughs> China boy, she's back. She's not here. Mr. Driver, where tiny girl? You know bling her? No, I bling her all right. A couple of road agents jumped me about 20 miles out of town. They took her. Hold up. That's right, Sheriff. What happened? They run off all your passengers? Oh, no riding passengers except the China girl. And you let them take her without firing a shot? Well, my hands wasn't in shooting position. Besides, I'm not going to risk my neck for no... You mean for a Chinese girl? I mean what I mean. It's your sworn duty to protect your freight, and that includes human freight, no matter what the color of their skin is. Mr. Sheriff, she all alone. They kill her. I'm swearing in a posse right now, Lee. You go back to your laundry. We'll do everything we can. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sheriff. Too bad, Lee. Ain't it awful? Yeah, just awful. <laughs> Keep your head up, Lee Poe. Mr. Ranger. Hello, Lee. We're mighty sorry. My friends, what do you do here? We saw the holdup. Came as fast as we could. Why they do this to me? Well, I think I know, Lee. The lowest reason the human heart is capable of. Little boy, throw rock humans out of me. Catch him? No, Tom. Let him go. We don't want a lot of Chinese kids in camp. If you want to see your girl alive, get out of town pronto. Just what I thought, Lee. Children don't like Lee Po. Throw stone. They don't know what they like except what they're told. Someone put that boy up to this. But why? Because their skin is a different color than yours. It's as simple as that. You see, Lee, children have no prejudice. I've seen them at play. Yellow, red, black, and white. They don't know there's any difference. They have to be taught prejudice by their elders, by people who can only feel big by making others feel small. I go. I go right away. Then maybe they let her go. That's just what you won't do, Lee. You can't run away from prejudice. You've got to fight it. It's the American way. And there are plenty of people in this town who will fight it with you. There they go, Lee. The decent people are on your side. You stay here. Keep your eyes and ears open. Write down the names of anyone who advises you to leave town for your own good. Just sit tight. You'll hear from us. Me sit tight. Me good American. Not smoke. You're right, Tonto. It's tar. Come on. Bring me here. Why you boil tar? What? What did Lipo do? You're starting a family, that's what. And pretty soon others just like you'll be doing the same thing. And before we know it, half the town will be wearing pigtails and working for rice money. You're hitting the trail, China boy, wearing a nice warm overcoat of tar and feathers. Wait here. Because we wouldn't want you to freeze in the mountains, understand? I don't understand. Keep your hands away from your guns. Leap home. Who are you and what are you doing in that mask? This mask is on the side of the law. What about yours? Look, mister, 
You're a white man, ain't you? What's that got to do with it? We're just teaching this China boy a lesson, that's all. We warned him to get out of town. You warned him. It's our town, ain't it? You don't even represent it. You're just a gang of hoodlums who sneaked out at night to commit a cowardly crime. What's wrong with getting rid of a Chinaman anyway? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Chinese are people, human beings. They have the same right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that you have. They were brought here to help build this country. They've done most of the dirty work that white men wouldn't even touch. They dug our ditches, washed our clothes, and they helped build the railroad that opened up this great country of ours to the settlers. Ah, uh, Chinese are rice eaters. They work for nothing. They take the bread out of white men's mouths. If you ask me, tar and feathers too good for them. I am asking you. And you, and you. Tano, get our horses. Leap home. No drink coffee, Kimisari. You were very quiet. Something trouble you? I was just thinking how they'd like a new laundry man in Forgan's flat. But they don't want Chinese laundry man. You're right, Lee. I wonder how they'd accept a Swede. Good girl. Me <laughs> yump and hear me knee. This knee she sure go out of joint. I'm looking for Yab. You need good laundry man in town? Sure do, sweet. Uh, that's good because old Swan here, he need job. You better see the sheriff. He put the key in the lock. His office is right up the street. Well, thanks, yes. Thanks. Howdy, mister. You Bain Sherry? Yep, I Bain. What can I do for you? I'm Sven Olsen. Darn good laundry man looking for a job. Oh, you are, are you? Well, I think you've come to the right place. Got any references? Yeah, yeah. Sven got good reference. A silver bullet? Only one man I know carries bullets cast from pure silver. That's right, Ike. <laughs> yeah, you old Svenska rascal, you. <laughs> what are you doing here and in that get-up? I'm looking for the man who stole Lee Poe's girl and ran him out of town. Oh, you've got your work cut out for you, mister. I've been out with the posse, and we couldn't find hiding a hair of them. They're right here in town, Ike. And I think I know who they are. You do, eh? Got any proof? You just open that laundry up tomorrow, and I'll have your proof. You help Lee Poe get a fire started. Sheriff Kane has let the townspeople know that this place is open for business. We have got to be ready for it. This gate is for both doors, front and back. Good luck. Thanks, Ike. The first lead I get, I'll come straight to your office. Now listen carefully. I'm supposed to be here alone. When you hear the front door jingle, don't make a sound. Stand stock still. Me no, Kimisami. Me Billy quiet. Good, Lee. Your girl's life depends on it. Tano, you lock the back door. I'll take care of the front. Gents, by George, that bell ain't stopped ringing for two hours. Sven Olsen got plenty big job. Plenty of work here for a white man. Well, good. That yours fine. You got big wash. Yump and Jiminy. This shirt she sure dirty. Feels like tar. <sighs> Smells like tar, too. That's what it is. We got it all over us. Yeah, tar on the roof. Sven can't promise to get you out, but he'll just run over to store and get some naphtha. Good idea. That ought to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. The snee, she yours like cat. When she's in, she's out, and when she's out, she's in. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sven here all alone. You fellas watch door. He'll be right back. Go ahead, sweet. What's that? Some 
Nobody's in there. Well, he said he was alone here. Please hold. That engine. Very really nice. Thank you, Mr. Flyley. Ain't that the engine was with the masked man that broke up our tar party? That's him, all right. Where's your partner? Me not know. Don't lie to me. We got a score to settle with him. Tell us or we'll knock it out of you. Come on, Lippo. Your last chance, engine. Where is he? He couldn't get nap this, so I brought sheriff instead. Thanks. What is this? They're under arrest, all of you. What for? Abduction, assault with intent to commit bodily harm, and anything else we can think of. Out. You can't prove anything on us. No. I can identify these shirts by the tar I slapped on them. You! That's right. And Lipo can identify them by his own Chinese laundry marks. Think you're smart. Much good it'll do you. He'll never see that bride of his again. Why not? Because I sent word not an hour ago to get rid of her, that's why. Why you do it, Mr. Foggin? Because I hate all dirty foreigners, that's why. Talk. Go on. Do anything you want. I won't tell. Wait a minute, Forgan. We didn't figure out no murder. Shut up, Friday! Give me savvy. Maybe this one would like to talk. All right. All right, I'll tell where she is. What's the matter with Forgan? Is he crazy or something? He's just hipped on the subject of foreigners, that's all. But his money ain't crazy. You want it, you do the job. You don't, I take it back to him. Make up your mind. And I'll tell Forgan the job's good as done. All right. Hmm. It's a good thing you don't savvy English, China Dow. You'd be mighty unhappy along about now. I'll just keep talking to her real easy. You go out the front door, pick her off from the back. Now, what are you waiting for? You know I ain't never gunned down a woman, Ray. Look, we took his money. Look, she ain't even armed. You're getting kind of finicky in your old age, ain't you? All right, have it your own way. I'll just mosey up close to her where she can grab my gun. Then she'll be armed. All right, but keep talking to her. Bye, China Dow. Say something, baby, even if it's in your own lingo. In out, ching ching, Chinaman, chow chow chow. Something like that. I don't know whether she's going to go for this, Ben. But if she don't, we're going to have to take her for a walk along the cliff. Giving her every chance, Ben. Just the way you wanted it. Ain't even looking down. On purpose. So it's up to you, Ben. Watch your hand. And me, too. Stand back, back. I'll cover the front. We got him. Come in. Drop your guns. All clear, Tunnel. Pick up the guns. I'll never need them again where they're going.
Here's two more for you, Sheriff. The Boone brothers. Good. I've already got Jenny Fisher in jail. Friley made a full confession. Lock him up. I only hope the rest of the town people profit by this experience. There's no room in this country for racial prejudice. It just doesn't belong. What Li Po do? <laughs> An old Chinese custom, Taro. What's she saying, Li Po? She say, who is man in mask? I tell her. Li Wei Xin Sang Hai Ngo Diga Ho Pang Yao. Iga Kui Hai Nega Pang Yao Tim. Kuga Mel Gujo, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> <laughs>